Corporation case, R period, R period, tilde 385, tilde 460, tilde 312, colon U, period, S period. In compliance with a 10-day communication back from an August 27th, 2021 filing of a medical military contract with the joining by the claim of the life claimants who work in a juxtaposition within the U.S. military. I'm filing into evidence today forensics that I had stopped and corrected in the year 2005 in the military court martialing in the National Mall between between Jefferson Drive and Constitutional Avenue at the Washington in the, the National Mall in Washington D.C. At the time in 2005, I had corrected and syntaxed syntaxed and found that the manual for court martials in the United States were 100% fraudulent in violation of Title 18, 1001. What that means was is the the format and the mechanics and the methods to bring a soldier to a court martial, court martialing hearing was completely fraud. I syntaxed it in 2005, but here in 2021, I found that there's been a new addition added to a fraudulent scenario. And I'm placing the manual for court martial United States as a pronoun, adverb, adjective, adjective, pronoun, in forensics as well as the preface the preface and the table of contents to be 100 percent fraud and you'll be seeing that on the screen thus we are filing this into evidence in court martial case number r period r period till the 385 till the 460 till the 312 colon u period s period at the court martial hearings, trials at the Washington National Mall between Constitutional Avenue and Jefferson Drive. There were many video cameras on me and the I sent text and I found 100% fraud, the Uniform Code of Military Justice, Chapter 47 of the Uniform Code of Military Justice. Because there has been corrections as of December of 2019, I'm placing those forensics into evidence today for fictitious grammar. What that means is that the forensics of this fiction, which is 100% fraud on its face, that this fiction will not be allowed to be used, the protocols of this will not be allowed to be used against the claim of the life claimants that are currently active duty within the US Postal Military. The grammar itself is fictitiously conveyed, which means they're using adverbs, verbs, adjectives, and pronouns. There are no facts, and a fact is a, a noun or a fact. It takes a prepositional phrase, a preposition, and an article which commands the authority of the noun. See, all words are nouns and verbs just depending on the location of where things are at. But in this Uniform Code of Military Justice, which is an adjective pronoun, adverb, adjective pronoun, the style of the author of this new code that was effected on December of 2019, the author of this document uses long dashes. Now, for those of us who are, who are judges and been through the federal judgeship schools and the federal judges uh, of the United States jurisdictions, as well as the worldwide jurisdictions of the World Court at The Hague, which I was on a phone call with in 2001 in Honolulu, Hawaii, the judges out there, and it ended up be, I ended up becoming and disqualifying the sea lanes to the universal uh, to the International Court of Justice at the International Peace Palace in The Hague, Netherlands, in 2005 during this court martial hearing, January 5th, 2005, to be exact. But the style of this author uses a lot of long dashes in his hieroglyphics here. 
Now, if you study the seven arbitrary forms of ciphering, which you can read and read up on uh, Manly, at Manly P. Hall's Secret Teachings of All Ages, as well as classified documents from Albert Pike dealing with books of, called Legenda to look at the seven arbitrary forms of communication. When you use a long dash in communication, it means you stop the thought right there and you, you're writing in a code and you connect to the next long dash in the, in the sentence or in, on the page or pages later. So when you lose, use long dash, it means to omit the words after and then you connect to the next long dash. So in this adjective pronoun adverb, adjective pronoun uniform code of military justice, there are many long dashes being used and the ciphering system on this page. So this contract, the definitions for a code of some kind of military control, there are no definitions here because the, the definition itself is preceded by a long dash omitting the whole definition of what a definition is. So this is a very tricky thing that has been done by the authors of this fictitious document. And I'm submitting this into evidence today on September 7th, 2021. I'm also submitting into evidence Title 18, Section, or Chapter 33, Section 701, which is a fraudulent conveyed grammar scenario where they're using adjectives, pronouns, adverbs, and verbs, creating nonsensical statements that say nothing. court-martialing of George hyphen Walker Colin Bush and Richard hyphen Bruce Colin Cheney there were many hearings and many trials correcting the grammar form of these fraudulent documents which were unpublished with every branch of the US military at the secretaries of the Navy's Commandant of the Marine Corps Secretary of the Air Force and Secretary of the Army now at the time Space Force was not an authorized position for a postal corporation but it can't be an authorized position because there are no U.S. presidents because the United States government ceased to exist in 1999. The soldiers that have gone into their branch of the military, before they went into their branch to apply for a position in, in a branch of government for the postal militaries, you first went into the U.S. post office to get a postal registration number. That postal registration number you can then take and go get tested to figure out what branch you wanted to go into. So the military actually works for the post office, for without that postal registration number, you could not get into your respective branch of military. Thus, the military works for the post office. But in 1999, the post office and the presidency, they had to vacate the charter for the, for the Constitution, which were the guidelines to elect the president, and they had to vacate that, and they did that in the 2000 presidential election. The reason why they had to vacate it and that they had to leave the Constitution is because it was an expired document stemming from a 1929 filing of international bankruptcy by the U.S. Post Office. So in 1929, October 29th, the U.S. Post Office was given closure by the, the shareholders of the note, which was bought way back in history in the past relics of the past people call it relics of the past and we'll just keep it there for because it has no now time jurisdiction or no now time content so the relics of the past the uh, US military and the US post office specifically had to violate their own title site which is title 39 section 101 subsection a and subsection B which they did with the Florida Chads of the 2000 presidential election so when they vacated the presidency and they left the District of Columbia, the U.S. Post Office lost its constitutional authority to register soldiers to go into their respective branches of the military. Thus, George Eiffel Walker Colin Bush created scenarios around the world, creating fake wars with no accountability for them as they perpetrated genocide against the Iraqi people and the Afghan people around the world. 
as well as creating genocide against the soldiers who fought so diligently and hard for something that they were tricked into. So it's a very unfortunate thing that's happened to the U.S. military soldiers as they've been duped on with a volition by George Hyphen Walker, Colin Bush, and Barry Satoro, Barack Obama, and uh, who's the other? Uh, Donald John Trump, and, and now Joe Biden, these adjective, adjective pronouns. But in the military court-martialing, I identified George Hyphen Walker, Colin Bush with punctuation in capital letters. Well, some may ask, why did I put them in capital letters? Well, the, the volition behind putting them in capital letters is because the, when the bankrupt corporation ended in 1999 and the charter ended, which was the Constitution, the birth certificate system that they were all part of became defunct, became derelict and rogue. It had no authenticity for authorization to exist as a corporation. Therefore, the vessel itself, which is the, the vessel is something that can be put into motion, it didn't have the capacity to think anymore. The thinking was gone. Thus, this perpetrated what you're seeing in Afghanistan and Iraq and the different war theaters around the world. There's no thinking going on. And so it will always be a loss. And it's designed to degrade the American people, degrade the American soldiers, because you can never win a war again because you don't have the capacity to think because the authorization for the birth certificate ended. However, hats off to the sovereign hyphen soldiers that have joined the quantum postal system. You are learning how to become your own sovereign and helms master of your world. And we're going to teach you today, I'm going to teach you today some of the scenarios that you can use to further your position as you set a position to not get vaccinated, which is your sovereign choice for your sovereign vessel body, which you have the sovereign capacity to govern because nobody can tell you what to do. I've only set up a network and a safety system for soldiers and corporate structures to join in with the quantum global banking system and postal system that I've set up on a global level. So we'll be discussing some of that here today. So these forensics have been placed into evidence here today. At this time, I would like to give new directions. And the directions will be given to the sovereign hyphen soldiers that have joined the quantum postal system. In 2001, I disqualified the birth certificate system worldwide at the Universal Postal Union in Bern, Switzerland, creating my own postal union called the Global hyphen postal hyphen union. In 2003, the Secretary of the Navy's office, through Hansford T. Johnson's office, and he was the acting Secretary of the Navy in February of 2003, joined with the quantum banking system. And in the quantum banking system, the soldiers now that are sovereigns within the paradigm and that are filing paperwork at their local base post offices, you are now joining that network. What that means is you are now backed by gold, you are backed by my commodities and goods that I have on my quantum system. In October of 2005, while conducting the world's largest court marshalling in Washington, D.C., I published with all stock markets on planet Earth. And in that paradigm, I disqualified the guidelines to set up the, what, who can claim value to what. So I can claim value of what gold is or what platinum is or what silica is. And I did that and I published with all stock markets around the world, which you're seeing on the screen now. Several stock markets around the world joined me with what's called a sealed letter of credit, which is a pronoun, adverb, verb. I call it a sealed hyphen letter of the value. What that means is, as I sent it into the different stock markets around the world, the stock markets would then place an international tracking number on the back of my document and mail it back to me. So when it came back, it was a sealed letter of the value. And inside were the terms setting up the disqualification of all stock markets on the planet for fraudulent grammar and setting up the new quantum paradigm. What that means is the value that is behind you now, you're a bonded vessel walking onto the postal military basis to file your vessel contracts. When you put your $1 stamp on the contract and you autograph it and the post office cancels that stamp, that becomes in joinder with the bill of the lading postage stamp for the 
Federal Postal Service Station and Military Postal Hyphen Service Hyphen Station, which I have the copyrights to, which is filed in the Oceanic Theaters of the Department of Defense on a global level. On September 17th of 2020, I filed in a document with the Air Force Judge Advocate General's Corps, the U.S. Navy Marine Corps, Marine Judge Advocate General's Corps, and the U.S. Armed Forces General's Corps in Washington, D.C., which was done through the mailings that you see on your screen now. The contract itself was monumental in task, and I'll show you the documents. So those who have joined and have boarded the contract are now boarding this vessel contract. On this vessel contract is the disqualification of the presidential election form, which I disqualified the Federal Elections Commission in Washington, D.C. in 2012, which were the styles to run for president, which were the forms from the Federal Elections Commission because of the styles of boxing. To run for a president of the United States, because it doesn't exist, the Federal Elections Commission would put all sentences and ask questions of the candidates and put them in a box. So anything in the box under the laws of boxing, which you can learn again at Manly P. Hall's Secret Teachings of All Ages, under laws of four cornering, under hieroglyphics, anything four cornered is actually not on the page. So when you know the secrets, the secrets will set you free. So to run for president, because there are no presidents, they had to put everything in a box to remove the liability from a position as a president, to make the presidents immune from prosecution as they conveyed in these war agendas and death cults that they've brought upon you. The death cults being like Operation Warp Speed, you know, designed to vaccinate you. Who knows what's going in your body? But you have the sovereign choice, soldiers, to stop that. So on this contract itself, it is a closure with the U.S. military, and in that was the closure on the Department of Defense. What that means is that the U.S. Department of Defense has no authorization to exist as a corporation. The reason why I'm telling you this is because we are filing on many different military bases. The head of the Department of Defense Military Postal Service Agency, David L. Ernst, Ernst Ernst Sr., the deputy director, has been given publication by me, which you're seeing on the screen here, that the closure of his disqualification for his credentialing to stop the sovereign soldiers from con for controlling their helm doesn't exist, which means the sovereign hyphen soldiers that have joined with the, the quantum system, that are enjoined and bonded by the gold, and then bonded by my money system and my monetary system on a global level, Wherever you are, you have the authorization to now stop and correct, and the fiction birth certificate people don't have authorization to say anything to you, for they don't have the authorization to state a claim. They're walking without papers or without credentialing. The Department of Defense is very aware of this, and they've been hiding this for many years. My former business partner, David Hyphen Wincola Miller, trained the top 1% of the 1% of the world. And if you go into his videos, you, he will tell you flat out, I'm here for the top 1% of the 1% of the world. I am here for the people, for the people of the planet and for the people that love themselves, love God, and love honesty and correctness. I am on your side. And I will stand up for these mechanics to safeguard the sovereign hyphen soldier's right to not be against their choice. Now these mechanics, because the U.S. military is a foreign vessel itself as a corporate entity with zero authorization to exist, zero authorization to state a claim, zero authorization to ship anyone anywhere. It's time for them to come home, get a new authorization in the quantum mechanics with a, with a position with the flag, which I am the copyright bearer owner of the flag, which the Secretary of the Navy's office agreed to on February 20th of 2003. What that means is, as bearer of the flag, now we can direct what ports we go into. The ports that you're going into with your joining on the contract is your military base. You have the credentialing to walk on there. 
You have the credentialing to set the terms. Not the postmasters on the, that base. You are the postmaster. So it's time for you to take another word and another stance and take a look at the word helms hyphen master. A helms master is someone who grabs the rudder, grabs the steering of the contract, and directs the vessel where he wants it to go. I'm authorizing the sovereign hyphen soldiers to take control of their lives, take control of their vessel contracts, and direct, stand your ground. You have nothing to fear here. You are in the position of the correctness. You are backed by the gold. You are backed by the quantum money system. What money system is the, is the U.S. military backed by? Nothing! It ceased to exist in 1999. This is the biggest ruse and biggest con job against the American soldiers that's ever been perpetrated. And those who have perpetrated it, the fake presidents, you will all be held accountable to the soldiers as they get educated, as they learn that, hey, we've been tricked into going to Iraq. We were tricked into going to Yemen. We've been tricked into going to Afghanistan. The trickery ends now. The accountability starts today. And as it starts and the soldiers become knowledgeable on all the wonderful tools that you have at your, at your beck and call, please know that I got your back. As you can see, a lot of work's been done here to prepare a platform for you to join. I am the one man that will come to the location. I've been on military bases before. I'd like to tell you some stories. I have different stories than you guys. I don't, believe it. I don't live in make-believe land, Ken and Barbie doll. I don't, play, I don't play Santa Claus with Mickey Mouse, like the fake generals that you have now. And by the way, the generals for the last 20 years I bet your families are so proud of you now. I mean, I can just imagine. Here you are, engaged in fake wars for fake banking families, tricking and killing off American citizens, soldiers who love their country, who believe that they're there for a certain cause, and you've tricked them. You've tricked them into thinking that you actually had the criteria and the credentialing to march off to war. No one told you to start thinking. You've done enough thinking. You've thought your way into loss after loss after loss after loss. It's time to end the losing. Time to side up with the winner. Someone that can manifest the actual value on the table. Not the fake presidents that you've had for the last 20 years. But someone who will stand behind you, the American soldiers, and say, guess what? We don't have to go to war with anyone anymore. Why? Because we have the quantum grammar system. We can communicate with our fellow mankind. We can meet the needs of our citizens in our country. We can meet the citizen needs of citizens in other countries. The quantum banking system is set up on such a macro scale that can aid other countries as people become knowledgeable. And as people become knowledgeable, you're, you may or may not like what you find because the accountability and stewardship begins with each and every one of you. I cannot tell you what to do nor would I ever tell you what to do. What I can do is set up a pathway that guides vessels to jump on and off locations of contract. And speaking of jumping on and off locations in contract, in 2007, I was in the middle of conducting the world's largest court marshalling, like I explained to everyone. And I was on FE Warren Air Force Base. And the criteria that brought me there that day were, were a lot of negative things. I was dealing with the, with the banking cartels on the metallurgy departments for the Jesuit order and through the Knights Templars. And they wanted me to go to F.E. Warren Air Force Base to meet one of their bankers and to meet uh, um, Bruce hyphen Richard Colin Cheney. Well, I'm, I'm not gonna, I'm, I'm gonna say this. Richard hyphen Bruce Colin Cheney is someone that has been court-martialed by me because he's a, he was a fake actor and one of the main components in, in creating this genocide against the American people, such as an orchestrator of the Patriot Act, an orchestrator uh, and co-conspirator of the mass genocide of the Iraqi people and the Afghani people. And in his genocide, I, I wanted to have a face-to-face -face conversation with him, so he was ordered to a military base. When I cleared on the military base and we went looking for uh, Richard Hyphen, Bruce Colin Cheney, and there are many military personnel that were there. Uh, Justin Hyphen E. Colin Sanders, Saunders, he was a sergeant. James Hyphen L. Colin Sandusky, he was a sergeant. 
and Michael hyphen J colon Morgan, all capital letters. And he was a colonel. The reason why I put them in all capital letters is because they all had birth certificates. They don't have the authorization to do any thinking anymore. That ended when they lacked knowledge of 1999 when the United States government came out of international bankruptcy. The bankruptcy started, if, if you guys want to go do your due diligence, please go to the Benjamin Franklin Post Office in, in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania and go into the Benjamin Franklin bank books and you can see where he borrowed the 1.6 million francs. Okay, so I'm not going to get into the history because that's relic stuff, but that is relevant to this story today. So when I was dealing and taking control of the helm on FU Warren Air Force Base, they brought in U.S. Secret Service. Well, U.S. Secret Service was very upset with me because I had summonsed Richard Hyphen Bruce Colin Cheney to, to come to the base to have a conversation with me. So the first thing I did to them is I grabbed their cell phones out of their hands and I smashed them on the ground. I then grabbed them and chucked them up against the wall. They were very afraid. These are, these are what you do to, this is how you become a helms master, how you take control of your space. The U.S. military guards and the MP military police sat there and watched it just laughing as I, as I chewed out the U.S. Secret Service agents for being a fraudulent organization and telling them what I thought of them. Unfortunately, Richard Bruce Colantini couldn't be there because he was under a little investigation for his little appetite for little boys. So, and, and I know for the U.S. military, this isn't like classified infinite knowledge anymore, right? Richard I from Bruce Colantini, he prefers little boys, if you know what I mean. That's not really a secret to the upper end of the military. Maybe to the general public it is. And I learned about it that day because U.S. Secret Service agents that I was dealing with had to tell me that something I really didn't want to know, but I wanted to unclassify that for the general public right now. It's not a public to, you know, the military generals and the people that have been feeding those people's appetites and safeguarding them for many years. But as you've been safeguarding and thinking about your safeguarding and doing all these nasty things that you've been doing, what about what's going on in our country today? Do you think it's really worth it? All the generals that were there for the last 20 years, you think your families are like super proud of you? Ooh, I bet they are, huh? You think they're proud of what's going on out here, what you've allowed to happen? You know, there's an amnesty time and there's a grace period for things, but certain people don't have the capacity to go into amnesty for what they have done to the planet and what they're planning to do even further if we continue to give up our rights and crack and, and, and buckle to these tyrants who want to kill us with their, with their vaccines. Make no wrong about it. Nobody really knows the full ramifications. We'll know in about another 20, 30 years. We're going to know who's around and who's not. But we know who's culpable because they've told us. Those who've perpetrated Operation Warp Speed and have brought the vaccines as fast as they could to the American people. And those people behind it who made the, and made the gain of functions. And so as the sovereign soldiers learn how to control their helm, just know that you are bonded. If you've got to slap somebody around a little bit, have some fun. Work out time. Don't talk about it. Don't talk about being a badass. Do something about it. Do something about it. Stand your ground. I got your back. I'll show up anywhere, any place. Guaranteed. Guaranteed. But I know where I stand, and I know what I've done. Now it's up to the soldiers to figure it out. Take control of their helms. If you got to slap a few dudes around, a few vessels around, that's on you. But you're bonded to do it. The cool thing about the bond is the banks can't have you pay it back because I took them out in 2005, which means the International Court of Settlements and the International Court of Arbitration and the International Criminal Court at The Hague, they've all been disqualified from fictitious grammar. Sovereign hyphen soldiers. It's card hyphen blotch. It's workout time. Do your thing. Control your own worlds. Be your sovereign to yourself. Love yourself. Love those around you. But by all means, stand your ground. Never give in. Never surrender. Be flexible in these times of the war. You're going to have to make modifications. We're going to have to weave in and out of this, this death cult that's coming at us with their vaccines. Know who the culprits are 
and let's go make them accountable for what they've done. As sovereign hyphen soldiers, if you have to stand your ground and they, somebody comes to get you, know now that you make sure your families know how to have contact to me so I can come down to the situation to give closure in your situation, which I'm glad to do. Second of all, never book into their jail system because it's only a glorified hotel. You don't have to book into something that doesn't exist. Third of all, I'd like to talk to the veterans that are currently out of the military and working with the VA. In 2008, I sent text and disqualified the United States, De United States Department of Defense Military Veterans Affairs Department and rewrote the whole construct on health modifications and health forms for the U.S. military, the veterans. This program of the Sovereign Hyphen Soldier and re-registering your postal registration number back into your military base numbers gives you the credentialing to not be vaccinated at the VA. At the same time, the families of the soldiers who are Sovereign Hyphen Soldiers who are on the military bases, the temporary system and the quantum uh, claim of the life system is also designed for the families of the of the soldiers as well that are currently active duty on military bases so that they don't have to get forced vaccinated. What I have done is set up the whole network on a global level to safeguard the citizens, not only the soldiers, but the citizens of, of this planet. And in doing so, the U.S. military doesn't have authorization to take the soldiers to trial anymore because I have a summary judgment on file from the like I was saying from the September 17th filing of 2020 on, on November 13th of 2020, I filed in the summary judgment with the Judge Advocate General's Corps with the, for the disqualification of the presidential elections, the registration of the quantum banking system at the, at the, at the, in, and the world, finan at the world financial State theaters, as well as the Secretary of the Navy's office. What that means is that you are, you are immune from prosecution when you're in the position of the quantum facts. Most of you need to learn how to syntax and you're a little weak in your syntaxing, maybe, maybe not. Maybe some of you are pretty good. I know I've talked to a few guys in the Air Force that have, have walked through these mechanics that are actually very good quantum grammar writers. I'm very impressed with your ability to comprehend quantum mechanics and your fundamentals of syntaxing. Great job for, my, for the sovereign hyphen soldiers in the air hyphen force. Blessings to you and, and to, you, to your journey. For the soldiers that are serious about coming on board the vessels of the quantum banking system and the quantum postal system, you can get a temporary claim of the life uh, in, in a speedient fashion, and you can get that at fortheclaimofthelife.com and log on to the soldier section for your temporary claim of the life. We will get those to you as quick as we can. This is the path of the sovereign hyphen soldier. This is postal hyphen military hyphen medical hyphen claimant hyphen contract part three corporation case R period R period till the 385 till the 460 till the 312 colon U period S period. I'm Russell hyphen J colon Gould, postmaster hyphen general, commander in chief, comptroller of the global currencies. Keymaster of the Vatican and the Obelisk Triangulations for the space-time continuums.